Good afternoon, everyone. Geiger Counter Test Show and Cosmic Radiation on Snow. Blue Aurora in the Arctic. The weather inversion pulling warm air up from the desert above normal temperatures in the Arctic. Danish summer, coldest on record since 1874. Large hail in Australia. Blast from the past. Steady global cooling since World War II. Takes us up to 1974. Today's news, 61 Japanese banks trading with South Korean banks, blockchain payments. Bank of America switching to crypto because it might be desirable to exchange currencies and cryptocurrencies. Oh yeah, and you're going to have to use crypto to buy your food. And while you're watching the channel, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can stay subscribed to get the latest updates. Look at the last solar cycle comparison. That purple line is where we are. This regular 11-year solar cycle is ending three years earlier than anticipated. And as always, when we go into just the 11-year solar cycle minimum, there's an increase in galactic cosmic rays. Now imagine when we go into a grand solar minimum. So let's take a look at the cosmic ray radiation measurements in the snow, Geiger counter 10-minute tests. This comes from Carlos Ramirez back last week of November. Wide out here for you can see it. This is from Quebec area in Canada. Continuing north of Quebec up into the Arctic Circle. Beautiful blue aurora. Again, we're starting to see these blues much more than we ever used to because the amount of radiation coming in on our field line currents will definitely exponentially increase as we enter into this grand solar minimum as our sun diminishes its output. This will affect the jet streams. This is why the modern minimum 1600s, there was a tumultuous time for them to grow crops. Same thing happened in the wolf minimum. And as a perfect example, this inversion of desert moisture being pulled up, colliding with an Arctic air mass, that warm air continued up into the Arctic and you can see the above normal temperatures yet it's bringing snowbound conditions to the southern part of the UK. Meter plus snow drops, which is more than three feet across most of the Alps areas in Europe, staying with DMI since they gave us such a nice temperature chart. That blue line is where we are with Greenland ice growth. You've been told it's melting all this time, but look at the record. That blue is from this year. Let's go to the grayish line from last year, 2016-17. See how far that is above the baseline? That is an all-time record as well. And speaking of DMI, thank you for one of my subscribers sending this in. Danish summer temperature, coldest it's ever been measured since 1874. And then on top of that, it's the wettest it has been since 1998. Galactic cosmic rays, more increased cloud cover, mixed up jet streams. You're seeing a playbook of the grand solar minimum unfolding before your eyes. It's not CO2, it's not you, it's the sun on a 400 year cycle that's affecting and will affect more our agricultural output. Wild weather in Australia, hailstones, 133,000 lightning strikes. And again, when we talk about the grand solar minimum intensity of electrical ferocity in our skies, as there's discharge now from the upper atmosphere. Now, a little blast from the past, 1974 New York Times article, Steady Global Cooling Trend Since World War I. This comes off Stephen Goddard's site. Tony, you're an expert at picking all these things out. I'm glad you do it for us. And look at that bottom paragraph. A proposed evacuation of some 6 million people from their parched homelands in the Sahel. Wait a second. We've been told the parched Sahel this round is because of CO2. Huh, I guess they don't look at cycles. Anyway, talking about newness across the planet, Japan, South Korea blockchain payments entered trials Friday. They're gonna be using Ripple as a protocol and it's gonna slash cost 30%. And remember those three day transfers? Well, that's gonna occur in less than 24 hours. They're gonna speed up banking worldwide on the Lightning Network with Ripple. And you're going to be left behind if you're in the old archaic dinosauric banking system if you can't get your mind set for what's coming in the future. SBI Ripple Asia, 61 Japanese banks spearheading the trials along with at least 20 South Korean banks. 
It's going to be an inter Asia. Thailand is getting on board. Taiwan's getting on board as Crypto Island. And if you thought this was all Asia centric, let's jump back to the United States. Bank of America, patent for crypto exchange system. See, all the banks are moving to this. It's much more efficient, it's faster, and they plan to include you. You're going to have a choice of traditional banking or crypto for now, but as we move forward and this grand solar minimum intensifies, our economies start to shatter across the planet, everything's going to move to crypto. So when you see them making statements like, Movement to incorporate crypto into traditional financial models means intermediary step. Let's change that into English. And then we'll turn this into English again. Last sentence. It may be desirable to exchange currencies and cryptocurrencies, meaning in the interim step, they're going to allow you to interchange both. But as we move forward, they're going to cut down the old system. I should say implode the old system, and then we're going to be left with crypto. And I know some of you don't like me talking about crypto, but it is an integral part of the understanding of the mechanisms and the movement forward in the grand solar minimum so we can buy, sell, and trade food across this planet as our, what we would consider now sovereign economies go through a metamorphosis. We're going to need global currencies that are accepted everywhere and instantaneous payments so we can keep our food deliveries and our supply chains running. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.